Hello everyone, welcome back to Growing Up with Godzilla. This is my show where I have conversations with Godzilla fans about how they've grown with the character and franchise over time. We are nearing the end of season three, so there is so much going on right now, and I feel very emotional about it, and I just, I wanted this episode to be something a little different than what I normally do. As Godzilla fans, we have so much to celebrate. Today, of course, marks Godzilla's 70th anniversary. 38 films, numerous TV shows, numerous video games, and countless comics later, Godzilla is still celebrated for its immense pop cultural impact. I would argue that this past year has been Godzilla's biggest year since the golden era in the 60s. We have the MonsterVerse, which has been flourishing with the recent release of Godzilla X Kong, A New Empire, and of course, an Oscar award-winning film that continues to send waves. You guessed it, Godzilla Minus One. In fact, the trajectory has led to the announcement that another Toho film is in production as of yesterday with Minus One's Takashi Yamazaki at the helm. Additionally, a sequel to Godzilla X Kong is in the works as well, so Godzilla's future has honestly never looked brighter. But amid all things mentioned, what often goes overlooked is just how much the Godzilla fandom has grown over the past few years. Every person has a story and a pathway they've been on as fans since their own entry points. And well, as you know, as you all know, this show aims to celebrate those stories and tonight will not be any different. It'll be different, but not any different at the same time. This episode of Growing Up with Godzilla is a milestone, the 75th episode. Ironically, I did not expect it to fall on Godzilla's 70th anniversary, so when I saw that, I was just like, oh, here we go. And it has, so I felt the need to celebrate, you know? This episode's celebration is about the beautiful sense of community Godzilla has provided for so many people, myself included. Back when I was a teenager, Godzilla served as my first entry point on the internet. At a certain point, I reached beyond just visiting those old GeoCities websites to print off kaiju photos and profiles to place in my high school planner. I decided to join online communities like Toho Kingdom, Kaiju File, and Club Tokyo. I dwelled in amazing online spaces like Barry's Temple of Godzilla, Mothra's Shrine, and Tokyo Monsters. I, I, I did anything I could to figure out what was happening in the world of Godzilla at the time. And through this, I was introduced to a flourishing community of creators, enthusiasts, collectors, and then some. At a certain point, back in 2004, I decided to create my own forum slash website called Kaiju Galaxy. After encountering some adversity throughout the fandom, I had a desire to create my own space where other Godzilla fans could join in celebrating their own fan-made kaiju, fanfiction, and tournaments. This year, believe it or not, marks Kaiju Galaxy's 20th anniversary, and I can't help but to look back on those years warmly as the community we created together uplifted me during some of my most vulnerable moments when I was, heck, growing up. And years later, our friendships have withstood the test of time. To celebrate 20 years of Kaiju Galaxy, I invited members of our site to join me on tonight's episode to share their memories and anecdotes about those wonderful years and why Godzilla means so much to all of us. My username is Godzilla Kao, and I originally joined Kaiju Galaxy back in 2010. My fondest memory is talking to others creatively as well as just meeting and talking about Godzilla with other fans. Next, what Godzilla means to me, he means a lot of things. He means the folly of men, of course, the force of nature. But I think I'll go with a much deeper personal one. A connection to my father, because he got me into Godzilla, and my older brother, who stroked the flames 
in these last few years since King of the Monsters came out. And Try for a Team, but mainly King of the Monsters. And yeah. In many ways, I resonate with what Godzilla Kairu said about family kind of being like that conduit for being a Godzilla fan as well. Like, my parents introduced me to Godzilla when I was a kid. My brother and I introduced both of us. And I, I remember their love of the character. And sometimes, like, some of the most nostalgic moments would be those moments where I sat in front of the TV with family, just eating dinner on TV trays, watching the Showa era Godzilla films. I think, I think those are such wholesome moments. And believe it or not, I feel like many people have that entry point. Hey, what's up, Donnie? What's up, Kaiju Galaxy crew? Uh, my name on Kaiju Galaxy was King Kaiju. I joined the site probably around June 2013. One of my favorite memories of Kaiju Galaxy has been, I like the fan fiction Kaiju tournaments a lot because uh, I actually made it to the finals or the semifinals, and that was a pretty cool experience. I also loved the gripe threads and talking about movies. It was a really, really healthy community. I, I loved it and miss you guys. What Godzilla, what makes Godzilla important to me I think it's because monsters kind of represent uh, almost kind of like a mix of what I felt like, at least as a kid and kind of now, and kind of what I wanted to be. And that monsters were very, you know, just different from everything else around them in the movies. Like different from one another, different from the people around them, and they're very alienated. And I've always felt like that growing up, but I also gravitated towards the sort of power that a monster had like just the feeling of being indestructible being unstoppable being able to do whatever you want whatever you want so it was kind of like how I felt I was and kind of what I wanted to be growing up because of that lack of power that I felt and that alienation I felt I think King Kaiju hits on something so important and it's something that we've discussed quite a bit over the last three seasons of the show this this realization that Godzilla does represent like this anomalous other and that watching the franchise, we see this anomalous other be misunderstood while simultaneously overcoming adversity. And I always found comfort in that because Godzilla always taught me the importance of fighting my own battles and standing up for myself, even when other people may have underestimated me in so many different ways. He taught us to stand up to our bullies. My name is Neil Craftifer. My username on the Kaiju Galaxy forums was Mecha74. Uh, to be fair, unfortunately, I can't remember the exact date that I joined. Uh, perhaps Donnie would be able to dig that info up. Um, as for memories, well, uh, there isn't just one in particular. There are several. I mean, it was the first forum where I was actually a moderator. That was a courtesy that Donnie was kind enough to extend to me. Um, I remember making new friends, having a lot of interesting conversations, and uh, also working on Manelian's Attack, which was a fun fan fiction novel that me, Donnie, and several other forum members from Kaiju Galaxy and the old Rodan's Roost slash Kaiju File forums worked on. And uh, yeah, just some great memories, you know? I can't just pin down one moment. What does Godzilla mean to me? Uh, he means everything, or more to the point, he can mean anything. He can be a hero, he can be a villain. He can be a force of nature, an anti-hero, the folly of fooling with radiation and nuclear power, you know, it's just, and he's just a cool monster, I mean, what's not to love about him, you know, he's amazing, you know, he's been a part of my life since I was six, I'm a fan of many genres, and he remains the king in more ways than one. Oh, Neil, those are the days, weren't they? My goodness, I always look back fondly on how much my life was involved in fan fiction. Writing on When Aliens Attack was quite possibly one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Dozens of writers all collaborating, taking on different responsibilities from the Godzilla franchise and incorporating this in this really cool overarching story. You can also find it on fanfiction.net, by the way. Neil had the, the wherewithal to put it on there and salvage it, which makes me so happy, but Kaiju Galaxy is the place where we worked on assembling it. And as you can imagine, I managed Mothra, the Mothra characters, but 
that story was the catalyst that got me to go to G-Fest for the first time. I will never forget, we had a shared panel that we did. I think it was with the people behind Godzilla Zero Hour back in 2007, where we all got up and we got had a chance to talk about when aliens attack. It's just one of those pieces of like internet gold that that exists still that I think the more kaiju fan should should explore and find. So thank you for sharing that, Neil. And we got to we got to reconnect at G Fest this year, which was absolutely wonderful after not having seen each other for like what 15 to 18 years. So it was it was wonderful reconnecting. Oh my name is Harry Griffin 22. I have been a member for about 10 to 12 years. It's been a while. My fondest memory of Kaiju Galaxy by far has been that um, small cross or a few of us were doing that never panned, well never fully finished. It was a shame, but it was also still fun. I really hope we can still do a crossover again someday. Some of us. And finally, why is Godzilla important to me? That's a good question. I guess it stems from him always being a part of my childhood and loving the movies ever since I was a kid. He always has and always will be important to me. Griffin, you were one of the first people I ever met at G-Fest um, when I came back in 2018. And I just have to say that like your participation in Kaiju Galaxy's fan fiction tournaments and crossovers, they were so much fun. And honestly, I hope we get a chance to do that again soon too. At the end of the day, like I just wish Godzilla fans were just were able to collaborate more because I feel like so many of us have such phenomenal imaginations that we can just take the stories that already exist and and embellish on them and add to them. Hello, I'm Armadon on Kaiju Galaxy. My fondest memory of Kaiju Galaxy was getting to be there from the very beginning. Kaiju Galaxy was just so different from other forums at the time. You got to meet so many great people from different walks of life. It was a positive atmosphere. Kaiju Galaxy was just the perfect safe space to come together, nerd out about giant monsters, uh, share our different creative outlets from poems to stories and so on. I will always cherish those memories. Godzilla is important to me because he shaped how I view films today. He inspired my desire to create. I probably wouldn't be writing or shooting short films if I hadn't gotten into the franchise at such a young age. Godzilla's important to me because he inspired me to create. If I hadn't been introduced to the franchise at such a young age, I don't know if I'd be writing or shooting short films like I am today. Happy birthday, Godzilla. Oh, Armadon. Or Great Lummox Productions. I, I have so many fond memories. And you were one of the original old guard from Kaiju Galaxy from way back in 2005. And for those of you who are unaware, I actually had a chance to have Armadon on Growing Up With Godzilla earlier this season. I think it was one of the early episodes this season. Go definitely check that out. But Armadon, you were always one of, quite possibly in my opinion, one of the most talented fan fiction writers. And I often would read your fanfics and just you know glean so much like inspiration and encouragement from them and those early days in kaiju galaxy i'll never forget because you very much enriched it and if memory serves me correctly you were also a staff member for a time too that was that was a while ago hello fellow kaiju galaxy peeps this is smarty aka gmat I joined uh, Kaiju Galaxy, I think probably around 2005 or 2006, when uh, when uh, uh, Danny sent me an invitation on either Toho Kingdom or uh, Kaiju File forums. My fondest Kaiju Galaxy memory has to be when uh, a bunch of us got together and 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 met in person 
for the first time at Chief Fest in, in 2007. Why is Godzilla important to me? Well, simply put, Godzilla changed my whole life. Right after I saw my first Godzilla movie, I got, uh, I got interested in filmmaking and also in Japan and its culture. And also, I have met so many great, great pe people through this series. Happy 20th anniversary to Kaiju Galaxy and... Happy 70th anniversary to Godzilla himself. Oh, Maddie, it, I will never forget that first G-Fest in 2007. You, believe it or not, and I think you probably remember this too, because I know we reflect on this every now and then, you were the first person I met from Kaiju Galaxy at G-Fest. And I remember we were just, we were in the dealer's room looking at figures or something and I turned and there you were. And I was just like, oh my God, Maddie. And it was just such a wonderful experience. And since then, like, I I feel like we see each other at every G-Fest and it's amazing. I very much enjoy any time that we get to hang out. And I just, you've been such a cornerstone in my experience in the Godzilla fandom because you are such a creative person, a phenomenal filmmaker. You compose music as well of memory service me correctly. Like you have so many talents and it's absolutely wonderful. Hey guys. So I am Cindy and my username on Kaiju Galaxy was Cindy. And one of my very fond memories of Kaiju Galaxy was Donnie making edits like banners and videos for his Future Destiny fanfic. That was such a good time, you know, all the psychic, like, you know, those kind of pictures where we're like, ah, those are good times. Reading fan fiction on Kaiju Galaxy and posting it, my Shizilla stories, good times. And what makes Godzilla special to me is there is a version of Godzilla for every decade of my life. And I have a huge video on my own channel about it. So stream of awareness on YouTube. Go see it. Happy birthday, Godzilla. Mwah. Oh, Cindy. I, you already know how dear you are to me. And I think many people who watch the show know how important you are to me. You've appeared so frequently. You've almost pretty much became a complimentary co-host, I would say, for the show. But in all reality, you were probably one of my closest friends early on, and our friendship still flourishes today. And during a very vulnerable time in my life when Kaiju Galaxy was created, that was around the time I was like discovering my sexual orientation. Cindy was one of the first people that came out to when I was at my most isolated and I would argue that she kept me going. I don't think I'd be here without her. And Cindy, I know I've mentioned this to you as well, but I want everyone to know that had it not been for your fan fiction and the inspiration I got from your writing, I would have never pursued writing my own fan fiction, nor would it have turned into what I do now for a living as a teacher and a writer. So it goes to show you that online friendships can really go far in influencing people and creating a support network. And I think that's one of the many reasons why Godzilla is so dear to me and why Kaiju Galaxy is so dear to me. Many people don't realize the community that Godzilla creates and the safety that Godzilla promotes for those of us in the communities. And of course, Kaiju Galaxy is not the only community like this. Like there's others like Kaiju United, for example, one that I'm in, you know, that I've recently been on over the last few years that has been so inclusive and friendly and inviting. I think these are the spaces where we are able to not only celebrate the character that we love and the franchise we love, but also one another, our own journeys. And that's honestly why I like doing this show so much. We get to celebrate that because I don't think we get to celebrate that enough. To the Kaiju Galaxy members who submitted to this, thank you so much. I love and adore you. And I'm so glad that we have stayed connected over the years. For those of you who were not able to participate from Kaiju Galaxy, I have a feeling this could happen again in the future and know that 
and love and miss you also. And I guess, you know, I guess I will end on, on, on my little profile. My name was Eternal Mothra. I was on Kaiju Galaxy since the beginning, 20 years. My favorite memory from Kaiju Galaxy probably are either the fanfiction Kaiju tournaments or collaborating on Manilian's Attack, but honestly, so much more. The community building in general is my fondest memory. And the reason why Godzilla is so important to me, well, if you've watched the show, you know he's been an escape. He's been a point of safety, a safe harbor for me, and a crucial reflection for humanity, a reflection that I love looking at because I feel like Godzilla's staying power and versatility is demonstrated in the way this character can be adapted regardless of the generation. And I know that Godzilla will continue to impact generations to come. Happy birthday, Godzilla. 70 years young, and may there be many more.